Hello and welcome to a Cookie Corner of YouTube and it's that time of the month. Yes, yes, it's scroller box time. I am a little late to the party this month. Reason being I was away this whole weekend and this actually arrived on the day I went away. So, um, but hey, here we are, we're here now. So it's all good. <laughs> we're gonna have a look and see what's in the scroller box for this month. So without further ado, I do a flip over off in one yes i did it's quite a thick and heavy box and um grab out all the stuff that's inside i do love the inside of the box cover as well i still really like that it's very cool um if you didn't know scrawler box is a monthly subscription box um um, an art monthly subscription box where you will get art supplies delivered monthly. Uh, sometimes it may be things that you have seen before, sometimes it's things you've never tried before and um, it just gives you an opportunity to try out things and see whether you like them, which is phenomenal. Also, it's, um, it gives you a challenge every month to do something. Oh, this is looking interesting. Oh, ho, ho. I think these are new. I kind of think these are new, these risk markers. So we've got a set of 12 acrylic paint markers, I presume they are. And um, yeah, nice colours. Interesting. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got, yes, it's acrylic paint pens. Um, yellow, blue, gold. Oh, we've got gold and silver. Cool. Orange, green, pink, brown, red, black, purple, and white. Uh, they work in the same way as other acrylic markers where you have to charge them up before you can use them. So you have to press down on the nib to get the paint to flow into it. So that looks cool. Let's have a look at what else we've got. This sticker looks awesome. <laughs> Loving that already. Oh, I've got a fruit salad. Have that later. Nice. That's a sweet treat. We always get a sweet treat. I have got one of the lovely Derwent sketching pencils. I've got a whole load of these and I'm never averse to having another one. A Unipin uh, liner, a 0.9. Excellent. So I do like Unipin. I tend to use these in the Statler ones interchangeably um, along with a couple of other brands as well. So that, that's always handy to have those. And let's have a little look at the, the paper we've got. So we've got A5 Bristol board. Nice. So that's going to be going, the marker's going to go right down really nicely on that. That's lovely. Ten sheets of that to go at. That's good. And let's have a look at the artwork. So, ooh, I love this so much. You know my love of owls. <laughs> This is awesome. I'm loving it. So what's our thing? Uh, oh, this is Brianna Smith from South California, who is now in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. Um, lovely. Inspirations from Japanese culture. Fabulous. And a penchant for K-pop music, as I have myself. An enchanting connection with astrology. She's, she sounds right up my alleyway. Fascination with the cosmos and exploration of new and exciting cities in the natural world. Lovely. I'm not going to read all of that out, but look at that. I love that so much. Absolutely adore it. So that is great. So let's have a look in Scrawlazine. So new product alert. Yes. A pack full of juicy acrylic paint. Yum. That's what it says. We've got um, black and white for outlining and adding in highlights. So we've got the shiny boys, which are the gold and silver. And then we've got the colours. And we've got a fine liner for, you know, fine lining, basically. <laughs> we've got our uh, fruit salad, which is a raspberry and pineapple. And then the Bristol board and our beautiful sticker. So... Oh, I love these. These are awesome. So this is an interview with the artist, which I will enjoy reading with a cup of tea. We have scrawler tips on how to use the acrylic markers. 
I have used acrylic markers before. I'm interested to find out what these ones are like as well. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. I've got a very good range of colours. I've got all the colours, basically. A bit behind the artwork. Testing paper. Yes, yeah, some papers don't work well with uh, paint markers. It, we, they tend to chew it up. And I think Bristol board is one of the ones that it works really well on. So that's all well and good. Um, thumbs up. So creating thumbnails. Yes, everybody's in for thumb thumbnails. Uh, this was a quest. Ah, uh, yes. Let's see if I can see any names. Ah, oh, Little E. Yeah. That's lovely. That's Emily. Who else have we got in here? No, I don't recognise any other name. Jean. Jean Bendel. Yes, Jean, I know. Uh, that's it. Let's see who we got on the tops. So we have Virajila. I don't know how to pronounce that, and I'm sorry if I've mangled your name. But James Byrne and Sarah Reed. Lovely. Nice artwork. I love that. <laughs> That's right up my street. And then we have a little extra bit, which is all about the animal kingdom. I am in love with animals of all kinds, as you probably have guessed. I do, I do love my animals. And the challenge... As we're sort of talking animals, claws and paws. Oh, yes. I am here for that. That sounds like a fabulous challenge to have a go for. Lovely. So I'll have to get cracking with these at some point in time. But that's the supplies I have. Um, and I'll have to have a think and come up with something I've already got ideas, but maybe what we should do now, before we do anything else, we'll have a look at the the supplies we've got and swash them out on a piece of the paper we're going to use and see how they work. Okie dokie, so I've got the paints out of the box. I am just going to take a sheet of this paper. I know it seems like a waste to um, use up one of the sheets, but to be honest, what I will do is this will be reused and repurposed, I promise. I won't waste it. It will be used for something else. So, first one down is going to be red. I like that see-through. You can actually see through the, the thing to see how much paint you've got left in there. Cool. So you have to shake each one. And you're going to have to pump it to get the paint to flow through to the top. This is usual with any acrylic paint marker. You have to charge them before you can use them. So I'll do this one, then I'll charge all the others up, and you won't have to sit and watch me do this. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it lays nicely on here. I like. I like that. Very nice. I suppose you don't have to go over too many times, otherwise you'll start to bring it up. But that—that that is the case with a lot of papers, anyway. Very nice. So I'm going to go and charge these up and I'll be back and just go through and show you all the different colours we've got. Okay, so I'm back. Let's take you down a bit further. I have, you can see the little marks where I've charged everything up. So we did the red one. Now we have a pink. And that's going down nicely. It's a nice pink as well. Very nice. Lovely. It is chewing the paper a little bit but you have to be aware not to go over it too many times it's, it is a way orange it's a nice orange lovely very nice we have yellow oh heck have an explosion <laughs> hello everything's trying to get in on the act how rude. All right, stay, in, stay there. Think about what you've done. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anybody else talk to their art supplies? I do all the time. Uh, purple. Oh, it's like a nice purple. Oh, that is a very nice purple. I like that. Lovely. I've got this nice blue it's 
very nice green yeah for once in a, in this pack we have all the colors so we've got plenty to go at and also metallics which look like they they are quite shiny from the dot i can see from the uh, where i got the nib activated okay black well, swatches are not the neatest i have to say That's black i don't think we're going to be able to see the white on paper but i have got some black post-it note. I'm going to try that one on. Let's see how opaque it is on there. You could also try a little bit of each of the colors on black as well, just, just because I'm curious. So obviously black won't show up. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm impressed. On black, it's going down really nicely. We'll see how it dries out. So that's a white. I'll put a bit there, but we won't be able to... Oh, it's kind of showing up. I'm just showing up a little bit anyway. Okay, so then we have the silver. It's given quite a nice shine. Sometimes paint markers are quite dull when they do the metallics, but that's that's doing quite nicely. Nice right, so last one, this gold one. Uh, also remember when before you use them, give them a shake as well. When the cap's on, not when the cap is off. Voice of uh, experience telling me that one there. Oh, now that looks fabulous on the black. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I like that. Let's have a look. Ooh, silver goes down nicely too. Feels smoother on that paper for some reason. Hmm. Okay, quickly just swatch out the other colours on here. I'm not going to do very nice. Shows up nicely. Yeah, they're very opaque. And they work very nicely on the black paper too. Hmm, this is giving me ideas. I do like Bristol board, um, but for some reason on here it's just kind of chewing it up a little bit. So that's making me a little bit wary about doing a lot of strokes. But there may be some tips in the magazine when I go in. Even the purple's showing up fairly well on there. That's cool. Dark colours on the black. Oh, the blue shows up nicely too. Well, I, I'm kind of impressed with the opacity. Very nice. That green's beautiful. Maybe I'll do something on the black paper. Ooh, interesting. Right, well, they all work really nicely. Uh, pencil is a standard 2B pencil, so it's nice, a nice drawing pencil. I like a 2B, actually, because you can get, you can blend out with it as well. It goes quite dark. You can get it to go quite light. Lovely. Uh, let's have a look at the size of this nib on here. So the nib, quite a chunky boy, but that's the kind of nib I like. My daughter would say, no, I need a 0.1 or 0.3. I am, or 0.05 are her go-tos. I am definitely of the thicker nib kind of a liner. <laughs> so that's perfect. These are water and fade proof and they have pigment ink in them. It's just great for using with these. So there we are. We have swatched out all of our supplies. I've tried the paper that came with it, which is a Bristol board. I'm still, the jury's still out on whether I'm going to use this or not, or if I'm going to just go for a black paper to work on. Um, but yeah, it's finding the right paper because as I say, some markers don't work that well with different kinds of paper anyway that's enough from me for now you've seen the supplies i will be back at some point with a finished piece of artwork to show you or maybe i will go through the artwork and then you'll be able to see a fast fast forward of me creating it 
Um, hope you have a great day. I've got lots of things coming up. So please do like and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel. Um, we do arts, we do stitching, we do basically anything crafty you care to mention. <laughs> I'll have a go at. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm, I'm really into my arts and my stitchery. So if you're interested in either of those things, please do pop back. We have lots and lots of things on this channel to give you a look at. Anyway, I will see you very soon back here with something else. Bye for now.